Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey. So right in front is a bird sanctuary. You can see all of the netting. And I can see some birds in there. That's very cool. Really nice area. You see some wild quail. Here's the Jeep that we'll be going in. As you can see, it's socially uh, got the plastic up so everybody is safe and sound. And then you'll come around. There's a, a lemur sanctuary right there. There's a couple in there. And there's another Jeep. Then our snack bar and Randy's sitting there. He's waiting for the tour. And of course, and there's a barbecue area. Um, right now there's a bunch of children's having um, having their lunch, which is kind of cool. So I'm kind of giving you a little surround sound or surround view. And then we have a little friend right there. Oh my goodness. How funny. We're going to start with the walk. Go around this lower area for about 30, maybe 45 minutes. Uh, and then we'll have a little bit of break to get some water, use the restroom. We got on my truck, which is way on the other side of this truck. Uh, since JR. And we'll go out to the rest of the property, and that'll be about an hour and a half drive. So, uh, there are a couple rules as we go around. Uh, first off, let's keep masks on at all times. So you guys seem pretty good about that. Uh, there'll be rocks and fences along the path that we go around. Uh, they've been known to randomly go loose, so let's not climb too on them too much. I'll be watching you, I know you've been eyeing them. <laughs> I saw that eyebrow go up. Uh, <laughs> I know a troublemaker when I see that. <laughs> let's see. Um, yeah, let's not try and touch or feed the animals. And let's stay in the same general area. Uh, any questions before we head out? No? Is there an umbrella on the upper? Oh, on the trucks? Yes, we do have umbrellas on the trucks. Uh, yes, we do very much too. So we'll uh, start <laughs> Some rainbow lorikeets over here. Huh? Helps them. Uh, the long hair gives them drag as they jump from tree to tree. Which can help them stick up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go in the shade. <laughs> Yeah, it's really safe. Oh, mm, porcupine. Hey, I'm doing a walk by for you guys. <laughs> Just strutting around, yeah. Right? I think it's about ready to get fed. <laughs> I think that's the look. <laughs> they come up to the, to the door. <laughs> You're the fastest and the slowest. Yeah, you got the, 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 two, the, two the cheetahs right there. laying right there. Uh, and there's a tortoise right here. Yeah. Face covering is required in this area. Cheetah right there laying down. Yeah, imagine if that grass was brown. Yeah. Only oh, two he's, settings. He's posing. Uh, really relaxed in ball of energy. Just like that. Uh, yeah, just like that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Yeah. Yummy tail. <laughs> oh, a poser. Yeah, he is. This is poser. No, he's a 
should we name him? He's so cute. Oh, you my head? No, your hand. You're like trying to get open. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you look at the adult female, uh, there's an extra tail. Something. I think monkeys only have one tail. But then. <laughs> Self-care. What is mm. That's how you get that feathery look. Yeah. Very well grim. I guess you also like feathery. Yeah, these are Debraza's monkeys. They're from the rainforest too. They're a little bit lower down on the tree. Now we get the walking tour of all the cages before we take the safari. And there's Christina with our room in the background there. Looking at the flamingos and our room is in the background. Awesome. I was just telling her about I had a root canal while Jurassic Park was playing and I was like, I can't watch Jurassic Park right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that goofy looking bird there. Uh, what a pretty one, huh? Pretty bird, pretty bird. They, uh, so as we came into the aviary, that's what I was telling everybody. Welcome to Jurassic Park. That's a <laughs> mist. Oh, those are pink bikinis. That's a bird's like nest sure right there. It's huge. <laughs> Just to show you, this is my hand. It's a giant nest. Yeah, its knees are up by its by its body. And then the next row. Each person gets a divider. Each row. It's keeping everything COVID safe. drop something just let me know and if it's safe to get I'll get it if it's not safe I'll get someone far more spendable <laughs> be you, don't worry. Um, let's see so we start on our tour we're gonna run over them that's uh, that's ours right there that that tent there Oh, nice. Here's a giraffe. Did you see it? It's a problem free. Philosophy. Laguna Matata. We have some female ostriches. We only have females. In fact, one of them kind of looks like they got sprayed down. <laughs> what? Um, they're actually some of my favorite animals. Uh, one because they're factually interesting. They're the largest birds in the world, fastest running birds in the world. They can get 40 miles an hour. Uh, lay the largest. So here's the back end of our safari trip, and there's Randy. 
we're driving along, we're in the back seat. And eventually we'll get to the top. We only have females. Huh. In fact, one of them kind of looks like they got sprayed down. <laughs> what? Um, they're actually some of my favorite animals. Uh, one, because they're factually interesting. They're the largest birds in the world. Fastest running birds in the world. They can get 40 miles an hour. Uh, lay the largest egg in the world. Yeah. Uh, but I like them because they think these sharks are super cool. They think <laughs> it's pretty handsome. They'll even come up and do kind of a little little flirty dance uh, and do a submission display in the form of going in front of the truck and sitting down for 30 minutes. Uh, so that's why we're not going that way. <laughs> that's funny. I have a personality for something that looks like a dance. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Oh, itch some more, itch some more. Yeah, he's really getting in now with the scratch. So this is our pet rock. <laughs> look at that, look at that horn. Big old horn. Wow. Look at it. Yeah, it's you amazing. Can see she has mud all over her. Yeah. She, uh, they really like to take wallows and mud pits. It, one cools them down, of course, but it also protects them from UV radiation. It acts as a sunscreen. Oh. Yeah, this is the thing on the middle. It's way over there in the corner. Usually, you can find them both right next to each other. Um, Another rhino's territory. They won't see them, but or chances are they won't see them. But they will probably hear them and almost definitely smell them. Yeah, they'll smell a rhino. Right now. That's a big rhino. Oh, 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 because you can actually tell a lot from an animal about its poop and pee. Yeah. Um, especially if the one that did the peeing are pooping put pheromones in there. Oh. Uh, which are like hormones, but they exit the body. Uh -huh. They actually have rhino encounters where you can get up close to. Now we come up on the lake. <laughs> Heading down towards the lake. Yeah, yeah. Symmetrical, that's the way. This is the best safari. 
Still on safari. Into another part of the compound there. Like, uh, warning zero, like, basically means we're watching you, don't do anything. He's giving you the look. Ah! I'm getting the look. The look. He's a looker. <laughs> this is fun. So there are two antelope species here oh, cool. that are both tied to be the second fastest running animals. Oh wow. Yeah. On the left are the Grants gazelles, and over by the feet are our blue wildebeest. And they can each go about 45 to 50 miles an hour. Yeah. So it's still a good 20 miles per hour. Wildebeest. Blue wildebeest. On a safari. On a safari. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's physically diff distance. distance Distance away from everybody. So if you think it's too jiggly, the camera's too jiggly, it's because we're on a safari. On a safari. <laughs> <laughs> we were on that road with the the, the rhinoceros. The rhinoceroses. <laughs> And the unicorn! There's a unicorn there. <laughs> oh, look at the baby. And that ostrich looks yeah, like he's got a couple of right <laughs> With their open mouths and their feathers poofed. Yeah, they're poofing up. Mm -hmm. uh, birds are warm blooded like us, so they're trying to cool down as much as possible right now. Which is fortunate for us because I think they'll stay for us. Okay, well we switched to be up on top now. So we're riding up on top of the the safari wagon. Safari jeep. And then we're gonna stop and go into the enclosure here. Well, now we're in one of the final enclosures, I think, and and uh, we're gonna get a little up close and personal with a giraffe. There you go, hey buddy. What are you doing? 
doing there, man? Oh, oh. We're over here. So they're using what's called a Jacobson's, <laughs> Jacobson's organ, uh, which they use to detect pheromones. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, that thing will clean out uh, pheromones that he can basically smell. Uh, it's, he has an organ right above the front teeth, uh, and that's why he does that smile. Like it's their active right now. The, the white. What's that? She's brown in those. Mm -hmm. Her her pattern's a lot more jagged as well. Yes. Um, I can pull back if you. They are. Yeah, she's a Maasai giraffe. Uh, well, he's a reticulated giraffe. Uh, and they're both species, subspecies of East African uh, giraffe. So they can have babies together. In fact, she's a grandma. She's had children here. So it's about eight on average. There you go. And he's he's been flirting with her for a long time, trying to get something going. And she's at the age where she's not really impressed by anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, all right, all right, guys. Cool it. There we go. Um, but that's why he's over there. Giraffes. Um, there is an endemic and very endangered uh, species of, of turtle called a western pond turtle in there. Uh, and recently, uh, periodically, there are sightings of river otters. Oh, really? Yeah, I heard about one earlier in the week, but I haven't seen it. Uh. That's our home for the night, right there. Yep. That's it. We're going to be staying right there. All right, Nick's all these giraffes. Giraffes. Them long neckers. Giraffes and an antelope. The only way out there is that the park, uh, particularly a park, is the sun. Oh, so they interbred? Yeah, they can. They're, they're both okay. the same species, just different sun. Like acacia tree does. Uh, then it's less likely to hurt their tongue. So there's a 9 a.m., a 10 a.m., uh, so 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. They start at 9 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah? And yeah. then they go like every hour or something? Um, well, there's a break in the middle. 9 and 10, and yeah. then 12 and 1. Uh-huh. And there's also a 2. Uh, and no, there's not a t no, there's not a 12. There's a 1 and a 2. Sorry, this it's late a, in the day. This, this, is, this is my Friday. Um, yeah, so 1 and a 2, and then sometimes there's a 4 as well. 
And there's also privates, like we saw people walking along that road. Yeah. They're on a behind the scenes tour. Uh, there's also a rhino tour. Yeah, um, yeah we saw like the that. people with the rhino. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you liked our vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.